we've, we've got these equations of motion for linear and angular motion. We're familiar with this formula, F equals MA, for something that's, that's accelerating linearly. If I exert a force, it's going to accelerate. And the amount of acceleration depends on the mass of the object. We can, see, we can think of the mass as a measure of the inertia. So one definition of mass is a measure of the inertia of an object. In angular motion, there is an equivalent formula. Instead of force, we talk about the torque, which is a turning force. And instead of mass, the linear idea of inertia, we talk about the moment of inertia, I. And instead of linear acceleration A, we talk about angular acceleration alpha. So there's an exact equivalent formula again relating the force, the moment of inertia, and the angular acceleration for rotating objects. Do you remember when we talked about um, bending moments on beams and things? We, we talked about the bending equation and something called a second moment of area which allows us to consider the shape of the object there's a similar thing called a radius of gyration for flywheels so we can consider flywheels two in particular we're going to talk about one is a solid flywheel and one is a rim flywheel so something with an empty space in the middle uh, or we, we're uh, ignoring the spokes say we're just considering the the rim and two formulas to find something called the radius of gyration, which is something that we can calculate that sort of takes into account all the masses sort of acting at a point. And so this radius of gyration for a solid flywheel turns out to be the radius divided by the square root of two. And to get to that value, we, we have to do an integration. We're not interested in that particularly, just the final formula. And similarly, we can end up with the a value for k, the uh, radius of gyration for a rim flywheel, which turns out to be just the mean radius, which is the radius taken in the centre of the flywheel here. So two formulae to find this thing called the radius of gyration, and then once we've got that, to find the moment of inertia, we just multiply the mass of our flywheel by this radius of gyration squared, k squared. So we've got another formula to add to our list of formulae now to do with rotating objects. I equals mk squared. And how do I find k? You'll come across two possibilities. One for a solid flywheel and one for a rim flywheel. So just add those to your list. <coughs> 